Hello. So, um, I know in the last video. Okay, so in this video, I want to talk to you about this pattern here. It is the Simplicity 8134. I have it in a size 14 through 22. Okay. <clears throat> this is going to be a review of this pattern. So, a review on this fabric. Here's the pants. It's really nice, but either I have made mistakes in the construction of the pattern, of the garment, of the pattern garment, right? Or I'm just not going to continue forward with one step and I'm going to adjust it to my liking okay and that is the waistband so you see the waistband there it gives it this little extra firmness right there but what i'm realizing it is either this fabric or maybe it's my body shape maybe it's my body type because it's not perfect you know i've had a few kids so i do have a pudge so um, or I don't know if it's the fabric or is it the way how I sewed it, or maybe I have too much, maybe I have too much of this at the, at the bottom. So I'm going to probably cut off some of this at the bottom and let you guys know what I think about it. But so far, I like the palazzo pants. They are great. The legs are like this wide when you have them on. And, um... Easy to make, super easy, two thumbs up. It is an easy sew. It is an easy sew, which is correct. It is super easy. Next view I'm going to try is probably view A, which is just the plain old pants, but not so wide. So currently we're looking at this one. This is what we're talking about. And I see that they actually have shorts as well. So we're talking about view E. Which is fine. Maybe it's the fabric. Maybe it's the fabric that is kind of stiff. I don't know because it has the wrinkles in it. Who knows. But the fabric is, I would say, is nice. I mean, I tried them on. Tried them on. But I tried them on with another pants underneath. So, I'm probably going to try it on with nothing underneath and see how that works out for me. Okay. But like I said, um, I'm not sure if it's the fabric or is the pattern there's nothing wrong with the pattern it's just what i would change is the waistband because you know how some waistbands are within the pattern and you just flip it over and that's the casing for the elastic <sighs> excuse me that's what i'm thinking i might do next try at these pants instead of this especially with this fabric where this bulkiness will show under the fabric so maybe like a thicker fabric i won't do i mean let me see let me get my thoughts together <laughs> okay so in a thicker fabric i i believe it's okay to do this to have a separate waistband but in a thin fabric like this and others, especially probably a stretchy fabric, um, I don't think I'm going to continue to do the waistband separate. But other from that, you know, I like how it turned out. I like how it looks. The legs are super big. Look at that. The legs are super big. And that is one thing I really enjoy. I had said in the other video about hemming it. I don't think I'm going to hem these pants because if you look at the fabric, you see all those lines. Those are little pleats that are made in this um, fabric. I know what this fabric is called, but I just can't remember. But look how wide one pant leg is. See that? <laughs> so that is great for that. 
Um, but yeah, for for this, if you have this type of fabric, you can um, what is that? Pink and shears. You can use pink and shears to actually just cut off the bottom, and that's what I'm gonna do if I could find them. But they're here somewhere. They're around here somewhere. I just I, I remember where. I, anyways, that's another story. Okay. All right, so yeah, just pink and shears the bottom, especially on your fabric like this, because it has the pleats. If it didn't have the pleats, you could definitely hem them, and they will be amazing. But yeah, I like I like it. And next, I'm gonna do the top. I have the top over here. I just gotta wind up some um, sharring um elastic on a bobbin and get that done but yeah i just wanted to come on here and give a little review of this pattern super easy if you can get it try and get it if they still have it it was made in 2016 so this is almost going on vintage pattern very old pattern a lot of my patterns are old per se i have a lot of new ones but I haven't been buying patterns lately in the past few months, maybe a year. I don't want to make this video too long. I love how I love these pants. I've been wanting these pants forever. So, um, yeah, so try out this pattern. I mean, yeah, try out this pattern. These pants are really cool. Um, if you're looking for some big, comfy pants, this is definitely it. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.